Today, we will install and explore an interesting operating system that runs on Linux but has a Windows-like theme. Hello and welcome back to Installer Guru, where we make installations easy for you. First, let's visit the official website to see what's happening. The website is wubuntu.org. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it's called Wubuntu. This OS is an interesting choice for those who are not very familiar with the Linux environment. According to the website, Wubuntu is an Ubuntu-based operating system designed with themes and tools inspired by Microsoft Windows, but without unnecessary system requirements. Unlike Windows, Ubuntu does not require TPM, Secure Boot, POPCNT, or any other special hardware resources for its operation. It is Windows.exe and .msi compatible. Thanks to an optimized Wine integration, Ubuntu can run several Windows applications without issues. Additionally, it supports Android apps and Play Store, making it a versatile OS. It is also optimized for older hardware, which is great for reviving old desktops or laptops. Downloading Ubuntu now, let's hit the download button. You can see that Ubuntu is free and open source. It comes with two different Windows themes, Windows 10 and Windows 11. The hardware requirements are quite simple and lightweight. Two core CPU, 64-bit, recommended quad-core. Two gigabytes RAM, recommended four gigabytes. 20 gigabytes storage space, recommended SSD. For virtual machine, VM, installing guest add-ons and enabling 3D support is recommended. There is also a pro version, available for professional and business users. By donating $35, you get additional features and benefits. Today, we will install the free version on a virtual machine. Step 1. Download the ISO file from the official website. Step 2. We will use VirtualBox for virtualization and testing. You can try it on a virtual machine or you can install it directly on an old PC or laptop. Now. Let's create a new VM in VirtualBox. Click New, then enter the VM name and location. Select the ISO file. Allocate memory and disk space. Enable graphics and 3D features. Once done, let's power on the VM and see what happens. After some initial system checks, it starts with a demo Josh live environment allowing us to test it before installing. The interface looks like Windows, with similar settings. You can customize themes, including dark mode. The file explorer has familiar sections like desktop, documents, pictures, and videos. But under the hood, it follows the Linux file system var, root, home, bin. There is a task manager alternative where you can monitor system performance just like in Windows. Now let's proceed with the installation. Click on Install Ubuntu from the desktop and follow the simple wizard. Select your language. Choose your time zone, your location. Disk partitioning. We will erase the disk and use the BTRF's file system instead of X4. Create a username and password. Click install and wait. It will take some time, so grab a coffee. Once the installation is complete, reboot the system and Ubuntu is ready to use. Now that Ubuntu is successfully installed, let's explore. It comes pre-installed with only Office, an alternative to Microsoft Office. 
Pre-installed apps include Snipping Tool, Notepad, Microsoft Edge, and more. The notification area allows managing different system settings, just like Windows. But remember, this is not Windows, it's Linux, with a Windows like KDE desktop and UI. If you want me to install Ubuntu on a physical old computer, drop a comment below. If we get enough requests, we'll make a new video testing Ubuntu on an actual desktop or laptop. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Installer Guru for more tech installations and tutorials. Till then, keep installing, keep learning.